Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, as you know that previously we calculate a number, how to get the prime factors of a number. But this time also we will get a prime uh, factor. But this time we will get, for example, uh, from 2 until uh, 1000 or 10,000. And uh, we'll get all the prime factors. And beside these ones, we would like to take the biggest number which number has more prime factors than all of them we'll just uh, we'll count it and put inside the list uh, this a little bit will be longer uh, i just want to declare this code inside the method inside our main method i don't need to declare additionally uh, ma uh, method so let's first start uh, for first loop and as you see that it will start from two let's uh, we'll do this kind of calculations uh, because we want I will ask for uh, console let's say right enter and now enter for Calculate prime factor from two until your number. Let's do something like this and let's say var and I say number and convert. We say it's console is like a string, we have to convert into integer and say console read line yeah now I write my number here I say a number let's create another for loop and this is j and it also start uh, from 2 and here I just would like to uh, create a, a, like a temporary value because uh, the thing is that if we write our uh, a number here let's say is a if you write like a for example here and if we divide in our this for loop then we cannot uh, go further with this uh, for a so I will create like a var or maybe int a temp. I'll put my uh, i here and then I will use temp here. And that's perfect. Now let's make a calculation. I will say if uh, our temp modulus j equals zero then what we are going to do we'll say temp temp divide by j and then uh, we will decrease our j maybe we have another number to be dividend and then we'll say continue and uh, let's see and also i would like to uh, create a string list here i will say string list i will put an, uh, a null and also i would like to get all my uh, j value for example let's say for 75 we have 355 i will put inside my string and then here i will print it for each number i will say list Um, equal list plus let's say let's put the plus here and and here I will put our J 
each time it will uh, put comma between them and after this for loop let's write uh, console write line and I will here I will get my I say I prime factor equal and my list let's try running what we can do we we'll say 100 maybe mm. there is a problem let's see what is our problem let's try to find it now Is the A? Mm, okay. Our ten divided by zero ten. Let's put the breakpoint here. What we can do? Let's so say put one hundred. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> I didn't say uh, start up our uh, set as start up because it goes to calculate another one. I'm sorry. Let's try it now. Let's put 100. Let's see, is it true or not? 2 is 2, 3, 3, 2, 5, and let's say 75. Yeah, I guess. I guess it is true. That's, yeah, I think it's true. Yeah. Now we are going to do another additional things that uh, we want to know. For example, I will write from one and until ten thousand, maybe more. Which uh, number has more prime factors? We'll calculate this one. We'll get the biggest one. And then in then we'll print it out. So for that I need first uh, make sure like we have like uh, int biggest number. I set it zero. And here I need a counter. I say integer counter. Set it zero. And here I will increase my counter. And now I need a list uh, because I will uh, assign my list to the biggest list. For example, let's say I will say string biggest list. Uh, I put to null. Yeah. And here I will my condition I'll say if uh, biggest let's call this one biggest counter and we also need a number because number like uh, is I for example like 75 uh, it has three dividends so we say int biggest number and I will set this one to zero here my condition it will be if uh, biggest counter uh, lesser than our counter then I will say biggest counter assign our counter and then if if let's say one condition uh, has a more uh, prime factors we will assign our list as well and the number as well and i will say biggest list assign list and then i will say biggest number assign uh, i so it's something like this and in the end of if uh, our loops is done we have to print 
uh, these values. So I will come here, I will say console right line. And then I will say say biggest prime factor and here I will write biggest number and then equal I will just here print the list and I will say biggest list. Let's run our uh, application. Let's put 10,000. Now, this is the biggest prime factors. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's just. Let's put more. Not 10,000. 100,000 and let's see it or not like this I just want to calculate until 1 million let's see because I'll pause the program let's see how many digits we have 3 and 3 here is 1 million we'll calculate from 2 until 1 million and until 1 million which number has more prime factors and just we'll get this one let's sorry run it they like it when you talk to them that way if i do that as you see that we have find our biggest uh, prime factor and as you can count it, how many digits. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.